Hello and thanks again for joining me as we continue our series, Empowered by the Holy Spirit. There's lots of reasons why I believe we don't see more believers demonstrating the power of God as Jesus taught that we would. I'm going to try to share a few of them with you. Probably the most sensitive and difficult explanation I can give you is this. They simply haven't been filled with the Holy Spirit. Could it really be that receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior is a different experience from receiving the baptism and the empowerment of the Holy Spirit? I know a lot of you watching right now are saying, how can that be? That's not what my pastor taught me. So what's the answer? Did you or didn't you? Well, let me try to explain it this way. The Bible says that in Jesus was the fullness of God. That means that everything about God's nature, His character, His spirit was in Jesus. One of the great mysteries of God is the mystery of the Trinity. How can three be one? The Bible says God is a spirit and that those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. So how can the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be three distinct spirits and yet be one? One day we'll understand that mystery more. When Jesus left heaven, though, to come to this earth, He was the person of the Son of God. He was not the person of God the Father on earth. He wasn't the person of God the Holy Spirit. He was Jesus. He was the person of the Son of God. All God, yet all man, having the fullness of God, being the express image of God, as the Bible says, but being Jesus. When the Holy Spirit came upon Mary and impregnated her with the seed of Christ, it was Christ that was born in her nine months later. Yes, that seed of Christ contained the fullness of God, everything about God. But it wasn't the person of God the Father or God the Holy Spirit. It was the person of Jesus that was born through Mary. I submit to you that it wasn't until Jesus was baptized by John in the Jordan River that he received the indwelling second person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. It was the person of the Holy Spirit that empowered Jesus to work the works of God. And it's the same thing I believe happens every time a person asks Jesus to be the Lord of their life. The Holy Spirit takes that same seed of Christ and he plants it in the heart of every new believer and we are born again. Christ is born in you spiritually just as Christ was born in Mary physically. And you too have the fullness of God in you. It's what the Apostle Paul wrote about to the Colossians in chapter 1 verse 27 when he said, Christ in us, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Just like Jesus came to the place in his life when he was about to start his earthly ministry and he needed the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, we too need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit if we're going to be his representatives and work his works. When you've truly experienced the infilling person of the Holy Spirit, you will be empowered to do the same things that Jesus did. In fact, Jesus said that through the power of the Holy Spirit, you would do even greater things than He did. I am praying today for you to have an encounter with God that revolutionizes your life. I'm praying you will be filled with the indwelling person of the Holy Spirit. I hope you'll join me again next time as we continue to explore being empowered by the Spirit. God bless you.